And now, a zone at 913, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! As the 24th in a series of mostly good MCU movies, Marvel's Black Widow can be summed up like its predecessors with just one word, reliable. It gets the job done. It's not only a decent Marvel movie, it's also a decent action movie. So yes, in the first third of my 91 seconds, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and watch it. Now with the rest of my time, I feel I should warn you about a few things that make the film a little less than perfect. First, a reminder that Marvel Studios' parent company is none other than the Walt Disney Corporation. And while they can be known to chuck in an extra buck to make a big movie bigger, there's a bit of an expectation that certain thematic lines won't be crossed. The story of Black Widow is traditionally a very heavy one, dealing with elements of human trafficking, childhood trauma, and abuse, but instead of leaning into the emotional weight of the characters' histories, the film seems to do the Disney thing and rely on humor to deflect from those moments. This is a shame because the movie managed to recruit an all-star cast of extremely talented actors, but many of their characters seem to stop short. Short. Also, the film being a prequel to the previous two Avengers movies, where we know the Black Widow's ultimate fate, removes a few of its stakes and danger elements. Finally, Marvel has a history of incredibly well-written and adapted comic villains, and unfortunately, this film's villain, Taskmaster, is not among them. With all that said, I was still very much entertained. The film had all the elements of a great action flick and everything I continually love about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So while the movie wasn't perfect, Marvel is still the studio to rely on for a decent cinematic experience. Cut! That's a wrap!